now. How about them damn Celtics? And we are back with another How About Them Celtics video. Sam and I are here recording Tuesday, August 27th, talking about Kristaps Porzingis. Kristaps Porzingis had some off-season surgery on... I'm going to have to look up. I have, I have no idea. Sam, would you like to... Can, can you tell me what he had surgery on? Can you, can you tell me the exact medical term? Oh, I don't know what the term is. I thought you wanted me to guess the date. <laughs> I was going to guess June no, no. 27th. No. Porzingis had surgery to repair a torn retinaculum and dislocated posterior tibialis tendon. So you're welcome for that. But uh, I don't actually know when he had the surgery. I think it was the 27th of June ish. It was like no way ish after the finals. Yeah. Did you hear me say June 27th was my guess? <clears throat> no. <laughs> that is when the press release came out from NBA.com. So if it might have been that sure. day or the day prior. <clears throat> so there's that. But um Porzingis is now on the path to recovery. Brad Stevens revealed earlier this offseason he's in Latvia working out and he posted some photos yesterday to his Instagram story of him working out, getting ready on the court. Um and he looks like he is uh working out the injury pretty well. I'll share the pictures here to the screen with you guys. But now he had surgery on which leg? <clears throat> I don't know. I'm going to have to go look. That is a great question. I was just thinking that because he's shooting off one foot. If, well, no, this is a video, yeah. so you can see it. But he's shooting off his right foot, left leg up, which is not the way you would shoot off one foot if you're right-handed. If you're taking floaters, you're taking them off your left foot with your right hand. It doesn't, it doesn't say left or right in the press release from NBA.com. Um, let me check the email. Like, Let me check the original. We're going to have to do the <laughs> Shams tweet. Yeah. Let me see. Repair torn. I'm just gonna control copy paste this in my email and see if the press release comes up there, and just like kind of hope that <laughs> it pops up. But <clears throat> the point is, um, Porzingis underwent surgery and now he's on the road to recovery. Uh, in another photo that I, I can't really locate, I don't know where it went. Uh, DJ McClay is apparently just in Latvia with him, Celtics assistant coach, hanging out with him, uh, helping him train, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera um left leg so he tore it in his left leg so he okay. is is that his left leg? he's no, not putting leg. weight on that leg in the in these photos he's not it tripped me out for a sec though because it looks like it could be either leg. anyways um <laughs> you see what i'm saying though like it, it looked uh, a little i kind of see it especially when it's small but no that's <laughs> definitely here. he's definitely shooting off his right you're foot. right you're right yeah yeah you're right it tripped me out for half a sec but <laughs> so the point is he's working out uh, getting some some work in, but uh, Celtics are going to have to be without him for the start of the season. I think the projection is like fingers crossed, <clears throat> hopefully by Christmas ish. Um, big Christmas present, yeah. But uh, that's KP, what KP he's, stands for. He's, he's working Christmas on it. Present. Good spelling there. That's... <laughs> um, but yeah, he's getting the work in. Brad Stevens said he'll be back eventually but said he's making progress but it's going to be a while Celtics could have to learn to or not learn but deal with him being out for a while get ready to uh, learn no Chris stops, buddy it. yeah he's working on it though he's, he's getting his work in yeah I mean obviously the first step in him getting healthy is doing literally anything physical to get his endurance up to keep his skills sharp and it's good to see that he's keeping his jump shot smooth right getting those reps, keeping his form straight. That's going to be important for him coming back because, you know, whenever it is that he does make his season debut, everybody's going to have all these expectations, at least at some level of like, oh my gosh, he's coming back. The Celtics are back. Watch out. Porzingis is here. And with that does come some pressure. Like we all got extremely lucky with the absolute insanity first quarter we got from Porzingis in game one of the finals. Like, a guy coming off injury and doing that is so rare and unheard of, which makes it so much more of a great moment because it's just. A yeah, it just never happens. Like it just, you don't really see that often. Um, and he probably shouldn't have played after the first game either. Like he, he, he definitely just, shouldn't have played that game five. Out there for the moment. Well, I mean, he said it, um, at some point, like I forget where it came up, but it's basically like, yeah, he sold out for the chip. Like he, he just wanted to play when they won and he did. And now he's going to have to deal with the recovery and, and, and go from there, I suppose. But he'll be fine. Dog. DJ McClay's out there with him. 
him and DJ are pretty close. He gifted DJ a Rolex after the finals. That video came out on Twitter. DJ said he wasn't expecting it. I asked DJ coach, the um, Celtic summer league team. And I asked him there, I go, were you expecting the Rolex? He goes, no, <laughs> he goes, I didn't know that was coming. That was just fucking insane. Uh, I just gave me a Rolex and, uh, but yeah, they're, they're, they're close. <clears throat> He's someone that, um, helped Porzingis a lot through the year. And now, obviously, I mean, you find a lot of you for a guy. It's, you know, it's real. So I suppose that's yeah, I'm not the, going the truth there. there. <laughs> I mean, hey, I bet Latvia you, is very pretty. Yeah, I'm sure it's pretty. Pictures would tell you that. <laughs> Let's see. Google, Google maps would tell you that. Latvia very nice. Where yeah. where in Latvia though? Because we got to see where is Chris. How big is Latvia from? as a country? You want to guess? People wise or space? <clears throat> Either. Can't be more than like the size of. Uh, trying to think of a good state, like uh, probably a little smaller than like Ohio. Okay. If, in terms of that. area. In terms of land, you mean? Yeah. So Ohio is 44,800 square miles. Latvia is 24,000 square miles. I was close. <clears throat> no, you were not. It is half the size. <laughs> What's Massachusetts? <laughs> Here goes, I was close. Uh, Massachusetts is 89 square miles. So really? it's about three times Massachusetts and okay. a little more than half of Ohio. <clears throat> Ohio, I think it's just the Maybe states in New England Maine. are tiny. Maine, are we just are we trying to nail this down? Is that yes. <laughs> Maine is bigger than Latvia. Maine is thirty five thousand. Getting closer. <laughs> uh, I'd there. say I'd say like um. <clears throat> well, yeah, this is harder than. There really aren't really that about. many like. Like West Virginia, maybe? That's what I was going to say. West Virginia or South Carolina. West Virginia is 24,000. Yeah, West Virginia is it. That's the correct okay. answer. It is about the size of West Virginia. Good Population-wise, it's 1.8 or 1.8-ish million people. A little more than that. So, a little more than Anyways, Island. that's where he's hanging out. Rhode Island, this is just turning into... Playing GeoGuessr, pretty much. much. Yeah, I know. Rhode Island. <clears throat> Rhode Island's 1.1. Lovely place. What's Mass? Mass has got to be like Matt's gonna three. be Mass has to be way more because Boston. Yeah, yeah, six point nine. Boston alone is probably more than Rhode Island. I don't think Boston has a million, or or like at least that in like the the suburban areas around it. You know, Boston only has six hundred fifty thousand. It's over half. Just a lot of <clears throat> population. Anyways, Chris Stops is working towards his recovery. Um, he's aiming. I think that again, the the, the recorded Christmas Day. Target where I would put your hopes. Yeah. That's roughly what it's looking like. But uh I'm excited to see how he looks. I think the Celtics need to be really careful with him just to make sure that he doesn't um re injure it. I think Tillman, Cornette, Kata giving them minutes and sort of helping them elevate into better players is gonna be the real key because you don't want to overwork Prozingus. Even when he does come back, he's not gonna be um exactly what he was beforehand and this is what you signed up for when you traded for a guy like Porzingis you knew you're gonna have to deal with injuries you knew you're gonna have to deal with him being out for extended stretches obviously this exact thing isn't ideal but now you you go from here so we'll see from the pictures from the video looks like he's uh working real hard to get back but we'll see how long it actually takes yeah it's like you say it's probably gonna be this way for the remainder of his time with the Celtics just gonna be like you gotta manage him you gotta use him when you can use him and take care of him when he's not quite ready. And, you know, yeah. if you guys all set your minds to that and that's what you expect, you'll be absolutely fine with what you get from Porzingis. But until mm -hmm. then, thank you very much for listening and watching. Yes, Make sir. sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Hit the bell. You don't want to miss any of our daily uploads. New stuff coming at 5 a.m. every morning. Full pods drop Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Game recaps will come out the morning after each game in season. And then we have videos like this one to keep you busy in between all of it. Hit the bell, leave a like again. We appreciate your subscription. You can also find us on Spotify and Apple. If you follow us there, all pods and recaps will go right into your feed. Leave a five-star review. We'd appreciate that. You can email us hbtcpod at gmail.com. Send your thoughts on the season. Send your rat list. We love to hear from you. hbtcpod at gmail.com. You can find our socials at How About Them Seas, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook's the name of the pod. Streams are there. 
They're on YouTube. They're on Twitter. Jack's Twitter's at Jack's Money and Mine's at Sam with Rance. That's it, folks. Bye. Check, check, go.